I am Donor, the white dragon from the north. I have come for a moment to tell you what we have been doing. We are now all awake and are all moving forward in helping with our energies to secure ascension progress. We are aware of all the different things that are happening on this planet, the different energies that are involved, and we know that they are there for a reason. Although some of them may seem disruptive, they are there for a purpose as well. They are awakening some who need to be awake at this moment. And as things move forward, they will be awakening others who need to be awake at that specific time. In God's plan, everything is perfectly timed. So do not worry about that. He will take care of his own. But remember, there are some that are still undecided. Be the great example that you are. We will find that the light is growing in this world and find that as the light is shining and moving forward, we will then be a part of that connection and that amplification of purity and light. Is there any questions? Are there any questions in the chat, Mark? The person that requested you should go first. Ava? Okay. Uh, my name is Leela, and I would uh, like to ask you, Donna, my wonderful, wonderful, beautiful, gorgeous dragon. I would like to ask you how our female, my female two dragons with the babies, they have uh, two of them, they have uh, 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 children. How they are doing? This is a sensitive time for them, and the earth energies are are actually perfect for their conception and birth. So they are doing very well. They are moving forward with all the things that are necessary, and the time will soon come when they will give birth, and these will be new energies to be uh brought into connection with the old energies. Mm -hmm. Do they need a special healing for the eggs? Should I send them healing for the babies? Any energy and positivity will be accepted and is wonderful for us. Thank you. All right, I will do then. So next one in line. Thank you, Donna. I love you. You're welcome. Are next there any other questions, here? Mark? We have Sheer, Christine, and Dave queued up. Oh, okay, Sheer, go ahead. Greetings. Greetings. Uh, I'm not quite sure. When you said that you are a dragon, do you mean a real dragon? Yes, we are the white dragons of the north. Under the Scandinavian area, are you familiar? Maybe I've heard of you before. When You, you said have. Now you have awaken to help the ascension. Correct. In, in what ways? In sending energies, in keeping bad energies away? We are helpful in many ways. We can connect strongly to the light and to the ascension uh, properties, if you will, the, uh, the ascension virtues, and we will continue to connect with them. Even in our sleep, we could connect, but while we are awake, that connection is much stronger. We are also bringing to the, the earth a greater understanding of all beings. So we are bringing our personalities into focus so that people may not be afraid of all dragons. There are some to be feared, but we are not those that should be feared, but we are those that are helpful and want to be a part of the positivity of all realms, of all beings, and all neighborhoods in the universes. So we are here to give whatever is necessary and whatever is asked of us to the ascension process and to the process of enlightenment. I see. And when you say the North, where in the world specifically, if you can tell? Where in the world? Yeah, in which country? 
we are under the Scandinavian area, Finland, Norway, Sweden, going into Russia a little bit and out into the oceans. So if we were under that area, we were under that area. If I were to be around the area, maybe I could meet you? If, if it is possible, if they allow it. Okay. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Who's next, Mark? Uh, Christine, then Dave. Okay. okay, go ahead, Christine. Thank you, Mark. Sorry. Greetings and blessings. Um, I've been t uh, attracted to dragons for a very long time. And um, I was wondering if there's a lot of dragon energy around me or how I can use it, if, if there is. <laughs> Yes, there is some dragon energy around you. In fact, there is uh, energy around you of all animal kind. You attract that to yourself. You bring in all animal energies to you because you are a healer of animals. And so, therefore, as you are there as a human, you have attracted many energies of non-human sources around you. Even some of the aliens who are non-human in form, but have animal shapes and interests, may also be part of what is around you. So yes, you have drawn dragon energies to you as well. Not all of them are positive, but you have pushed out some of the negative ones. Good. Thank you very much for the information. You're welcome. Um, I'm I'm currently in Norway. I'm in Trondheim, so I would be very excited. What would be the best way to to contact you or see you? Um, since I'm what here, what part are you in? I'm in Trondheim. I'm in a little place called Hell. I'm in Hell right now. <laughs> Is it on the water? Yes, we're right on the edge of the Pacific. I mean the the Atlantic Ocean, but on the European side. I see. If you are near the water, it is possible that we can surface in that area, but we cannot come through the land at this time. There are some openings, but not near that place. I will have to check with the councils uh, and see what is happening, because we must uh, work in synchronicity with Mother Gaia. Of course. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, Mark, who do we have next? Uh, Dave, have you gone yet? I haven't. Okay, go ahead, Dave. Hello, Donner. How are you? I am well. Good. Uh, I have a two-part question. The first question was, are dragons an aspect of Gaia? Is the first part. We have our own place of origins. There are many different places of origin for different dragons, but we were seated in... Andromeda areas and Orion areas and other areas of the universe, but we are not a uh, we are not uh, a natural outreach from Gaia. No. And the second part of my question was, uh, as magic increases in the world, like uh, yes. I believe last I heard, it was only seven percent. Uh, will dragons have more physical form? Will other beings like elves and fey have more physical form. They will have a greater use for that particular energy and may use it to do that. But remember, they have control over it. So they do not have to become more visible or more um, uh, be seen more unless they wish it and use it for such uh, for this that purpose. The magic is now at about 8.5%, but will continue to rise. Many uh, want to learn about this magic that is coming because they feel it will be beneficial to the world, and it will for some. Not everyone will be um, wanting it because they are afraid of it, but this is a positive thing, and it is something that we can develop and help you with. And it is something that is very positive and can help you with your missions. Thank you very much. You are welcome. 
Okay, next we have Eva. Um, thank you. Um, greetings, Dana. It is an honor to talk to you. Um, I have a question. Some time ago, I had a very extremely strong dream, which, although it was, it's been years, but I still remember it very vividly. In that dream, I changed, I started flying and changed into a dragon. And in the dream, it took 400 years for me to change. Um, I could feel, actually really feel being physically a dragon. Can you connect to it and tell me what was that about? It was about your evolution in um, different realms. You see, the 400 years, some dragon species live that long, three to 400 years. So you were just seeing that you were coming into your own as the personality of the dragon when you uh, incarnated into that uh, particular species. Let me explain something. You did not feel part of the species when you incarnated. It took a long time for you to feel a connection to that energy. It took a long time for you to connect to that uh, different realm. But eventually you did, and it became a part of who you were because that's where you were born into at that time. Now, as you, you were able to fly since you were very young, so as you were young, you were still a dragon, but you did not feel that way. Many people are experiencing that kind of thing in this realm. They come to this realm, but do not feel part of their dimension. They still feel part of the dimension that they were in before they came to the third dimension. And it is difficult for them sometimes to adapt to the third dimension and to their missions. And a lot of times negativity takes advantage of those that are in this position and tries to keep them away from their full potential. But it is that many are starting to now understand that they must be courageous, move forward, and just push through the blockages that are there. They are blinded by the fact that the uh, energy that has come through with them is not the energy from this world, but they can still use it if they know, uh, if they become grounded in the third dimension and become aware of their mission in the third dimension, then they can bring through their fourth dimensional gifts and, and other gifts to be very helpful to their mission and to the, wake, the awakening of many others at this time. That is the purpose of many people here, to be uh, leaders, to be examples, so that others may see that there is something more to this life than just the third dimension and just the regular ho-hum of work and the things that are offered by this dimension, but they can open themselves up to a greater reality when they know about the things from outside this world and the things that can happen and the things that will happen and so as they move toward this understanding, they are become greater people and people will notice their energy and be drawn to them and be awakened into the understanding of what is happening with the changes on this world. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to go into such a soliloquy, but... Thank I you. feel it necessary that many of you be that example. And it's difficult at times. The earth energies are very disruptive. They are good for dragons, actually. <laughs> but they are not good for humans. But mm -hmm. they, are, uh, they are there for a reason. And you will get through them. And they will teach you to be stronger. And they will build your character. Thank you so much, Donna. Okay, we have Amanda. Um, I've lost Jim's picture. Is anyone else lost? Uh... No, I still see him. 
Okay, perfect. Then it's just on my side. Okay, we have Amanda next, then. Thank you. Hello. Thank you for... I cannot hear you. Thank you for coming to speak with us today. This is Amanda. Greetings. Can you hear me now? I hear you softly, yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, I have had a couple dreams of being a dragon, and I feel yes. a great fondness and sometimes kinship. Are you able to expand on this at all? Yes. There are many of you that have had past lives as dragons and found it to be a majestic and wonderful lifestyle. There have been many periods in history where dragons were very majestic, honored, and respected. And this world is a little bit of an exception. The dragons that were here early on were actually of a violent nature, but that is not always the nature of dragons. Dragons are very honorable, very respectful, and have a great kingdom of, of, of authority, and actually are good and sensible rulers. And many have very fond and wonderful memories of dragons because they were in a good place for many, many centuries on other worlds and in other uh, places. So, but on this planet, they have sort of a negative re reputation, and we would like to try to uh, erase that a little bit, or at least bring it into um, understanding that not all dragons are negative, and not all dragons used to eat people on this planet, but that there are some dragons from nobility, some dragons that are le great leaders and well-spoken, and can lead and can bring forth wisdom and uh, understanding, can bring forth great uh, prosperity to the peoples because they know how to lead and guide those around them to uplift and not degradate or bring down those that are what some would say smaller or lesser than they are and some that are greater than they are. We do not look at size and shape as being a model for greatness, but we do look at the personalities of each and every one to bring out in them their greatness and the, the best that they can do. And we will look at that for ourselves as well. So we feel that we can be great leaders at this time. We feel that we can be great wisdom uh, great at giving wisdom to the world when it's needed. Call on us. We are not to be feared, but we are to be a part of what is happening, a part of the whole scenario, a part of the energy. Our energy is not so much different than yours. It is, as you wish, a positive energy and a great existence. We are pleased to be with you, and we are wanting to be with you. We pray that you will want to be with us as well. I would very much like to be more a part of that energy again. And, and and do you remember what color of dragon you were? I, I cannot say. Maybe a very, very pale blue. I have two distinct incarnations I can remember. Very opposite in their service very well a pale blue dragon would be that of beyond orion belt uh, well beyond that and that is another galaxy altogether and um but a very noble species thank you it's always fun to hear about different incarnations yes in closing i would like to please ask for assistance in boosting whatever magic abilities that I have. Thank you very much. The magic abilities are still low, but you do possess the beginnings of great magic uh, use. So yes, we can assist you with that. There will be some coming forth with classes that will help those at least learn how to gather it 
and learn how to use it in a basic way. Right now, that is all that can be done with it. Great and powerful spells are not able to be done yet with the kind uh, with the magic that is available. But that will happen in uh, years to come. Thank you very much. Okay, we have Dave now. Hey, Donna, I'm back again. <laughs> Greetings. Actually Actually, that answers uh, a little bit of my question because my question was, uh, if you could give us a short lesson of magic, uh, perhaps an exercise in how to manifest it or a thought process to think to gather the mana or energy? Well, at this time, the best way to gather your magical energy is through meditation and for the intention of, of the gathering because it is not in great abundance at, at this time, but if you go into your meditative states, you can start to gather it into your own area because it is sparsely through, strewn through the uh, entire of the earth. And so as you are trying to learn more about it, first you must gather some of it to you. I think that there is someone here that is shaking their head. But um, it is something you must gather at this time because it is so sparse. There will be a time in the future where you will not have to gather it. It will be strong and uh, you will not have to worry about it being powerful. But at this time, with a, only 8.5% of it uh, being distributed so far, it is hard to find, hard to really use in a great way. And where would we gather this energy and store it? Perhaps in our Dantian area or somewhere else? I would, I would store it in your root chakra. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, um, do you have any questions in your room? Well, I wanted to go, I wanted to add to that. I would store sure, it in your root chakra uh, for the moment, because it's not very strong, because the root chakra is the basis of all things, the the grounding and all these things. And you want to make sure that the magic is grounded. You want to make sure that you are not going to uh, use it in an ungrounded way, if you understand what I'm speaking about. And so it, it would be safe to store right now in the root chakra. And, and as you gather more of it, as it becomes more abundant, it will work in your chakras, and you may become a magic person in the, in the sense that it, it will adapt itself to your being after you store it in your root chakra. Um, and so it will grow into the other chakras. And as it grows into the other chakras, as it becomes more powerful, then the spells become different as well because you have different chakra levels of spells, if you understand that. And mm -hmm. sometimes you will need root chakra spells and sometimes you will need um, third eye chakra spells, but it will never go as high as the crown. The crown will be unaffected by magic because God is the crown and is magic in many ways. So he was, the crown will be unaffected. And magic is through the thought process, not through uh, psychic ability, I would say. Correct. Co magic exists outside your thought outside your thought process, outside your psychic process. It exists on its own. So it, it, is, a, it is a noun. It is what it is. And you may gather it and use it, but it is separate than your being. Thank you. You are welcome. Next are there one. Any questions? One moment, please. Are there any questions within your room? Are there any questions here? No. Yes. No. 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 Okay. All right. Leela, please go ahead. Okay. Uh, short update about my work with my golden uh, dragon from Agartha. We are working on a project. I'm sure you have access. Do we are we progressing on that project together? 
the healing progress yes with the with the golden dragon of agartha yes we are all working together all right so As, can... yes we will be moving forward of course we know of course you are moving forward yes ah okay so that's what okay. i wanted to know thank you yes we are also very healing uh beings i uh i forgot to mention that but we do have a great deal of healing a lot of people were are not thinking of us as healers but dragons do have healing energy just like every creature in the in the universe has some kind of healing energies we can use that as well remember when god creates a being there will be healing inside of that being because god is a healer and he puts into your soul his creative abilities and part of that is healing right in general we humans at this point in time we are reconnecting with ourselves and we have to many times be conformed get confirmation because we are the beginner in a way for runners so that's why is this question always it is working it is working from the common sense, of course, it is working. It is, we are insecure. Many of us are insecure because we are awaking slowly. So that's why. Correct. Thank you. Exactly. Can I, can I ask you a question about magic? Because this is my of understanding course. that everything exists within Correct. all the multiverse. And simply magic is shifting to the place where whatever it is you're trying to implement is true. So the magic is not actually magic, but it's more, it, well, you can call it magic, but the magic is being able to shift to the place where the thing that you desire is already there. So it's not that you're bringing something in, but you're actually going to it. Is that correct? Yes. We're, it's In some ways, that's true. Let me explain what you call it magic it is an energy that is has been on the earth before and ha, and is now reintroducing itself in some ways in a stronger form it's always been there in a very minute way uh and the the dark magic people have been able to gather that and still use it but it's now introducing itself in a stronger energy pattern which is something different because you are facing the energies of the center of the galaxy. You are um, now in a stronger sun pattern of energy. You are now in a stronger solar pattern. Uh, well, solar is sun, but a, a solar system manner of energy. So this is why this particular energy is uh, becoming stronger and it is continuing uh, it will continue to get stronger but it has always been here yes <clears throat> and it is always been part of this uh, planet and many others but it is getting stronger because of the way the energies are manifesting themselves on your planet at this time now um, you call it magic it is actually a natural source of energy and many would say oh magic uh, very negative uh, but it's just a natural source of energy like a uh, reiki energy is a natural source of energy from god healing energy uh, joe ray and all these other galactic reiki all these are kinds of energies that can be used in a positive ways there are very say, there are many kinds of energies that can be used positively. Can you not just say man uh, that magic is in fact manifestation? You can use it to, to manifest. It is that kind of energy. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Perfect. Yes, but you could also gather electricity in a battery. You can gather all the different kinds of energies that you wish in in any. In, in, in a place, if you wish, that is possible. But gathering of mass magic will help with manifestation, with ch uh, positive change, and things of this manner. 
manner. Would you would you be able to give because a lot of people have had the same question? Would you be able to give any sort of demonstration to us or instruction to us of some sort of meditation that we would do in order to increase our awareness of the magic around us? Well, I would do it whenever you go into your meditation. Make sure that, okay, make sure that you're relaxed and you're not distracted. And make sure that when you're gathering your energy, you, you picture that there is things coming to you and that you specifically name this energy as you will. Some will call it manage, magic. Some will call it the energy of manifestation. Some will call it the positive change energy. These are different names that have been used over the years to identify magic as a different source of energy. When you go into your meditation, make sure that you specify this energy in a positive way, that you bring it in in a positive way, and that you are gathering it uh, for only good use. But I cannot give you, I would, it would take me a while to actually sit and do a meditation with you. But I can tell you that your regular meditations can be adapted to bring in this kind of energy. Perfect. Amanda has a question now. Thank you very much for that explanation of your time. You're welcome. Hello again. On that topic, Besides a general grounding practice, is there a stone or a crystal that will help better connect during those meditations? Ah, now this is interesting. Pay attention. All stones uh, that are on the top of the earth will be connected to magic because that energy is part of the, of the earth now and will be part of the topsoil in some ways. So all stones and crystals that are that are exposed at the top of the earth or in the earth atmosphere will be able to be um, uh, attuned to magical uh, energies. So you may take any stone. There are some that are greater than others, of course. The crystals have the greater uh, energy for magic, but all stones will have energy for magic. But um, I would say the crystals will have a little greater uh, effect with magic. So use your crystals, and you can uh, and bring. Uh, 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 you can store magic in your crystals as well. I would store first in your um, your uh, root chakra. But if you, at some point, there will, it will be in abundance, and you can store it in your rocks and crystals. Very good. Thank you. Does that make sense to everyone? Since, that, since it is part of the energies of the earth, all parts, all stones that are above ground will be affected by it in some way. Thank you so very much for that. Is there anyone else that has a question? I th on our side, I think we're out, but maybe in your room? No, there is no one here. I believe that everyone is happy with all the different answers that have been given. Yes. And if, if they are not, they should contact me personally. Perfect. Well, we, I, I hope to see you on the, on the edge of the Atlantic in Norway today so you may see the bubbles coming up if we are not permitted we will send some large bubbles to the surface for you to observe at least that may be something we can do but i would like to just poke my head out <laughs> or have one of my uh, friends do such a thing if i am not available but we shall see okay thank you so much if not i'll see you in dream time thank exactly you. We are always there. Perfect. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you for coming, and it was a pleasure speaking with you. It was Thank a real pleasure speaking to you. Is there someone else? It I was a so. real, 
It was a real pleasure speaking to you, and thank you for listening uh, carefully. Uh, it was not easy to speak fluently through this uh, channel because we are we speak and think much faster. But I thought it came out all right. It was perfect. Have a good day, and we will talk soon. Yes, thank you very much.